You know, I was in church a long time before I got into the Word. And the church had me fooled that God would only use certain special people. But one day I read in the book of Joel, and it said, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. And upon the servants and upon my handmaidens in those days will I pour out my spirit. They had me fooled about the Holy Spirit. And then I read where the Lord had said, but ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, in all Judea and in Samaria, and the uttermost parts of the world. And I thought about that and they began to tell me about faith. And I read where the Lord said, and whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in thine heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. And I said, not me. And then he turned around and he said, therefore I say unto you, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that ye shall receive them and ye shall have them. And I said, but, but Lord, they tell me, they tell me that you might not come when I want you, but you'll be on time. He said, but I didn't say that. For he said, my word said, if ye abide in me, and my word abide in you, ye shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. I said, me, Lord? He said, yes. He said, yes. And that's what he said, just for you, Lord. Just for every one of you here now. Whatever you need, God has it for you. And he'll work a miracle in your life. If you just let him in tonight, he'll work a miracle in your life. Just for
a miracle just for you. 